In this video we will show the application setup on a PSTX soft starter. We divided the application setup menu into three different sections. 1. Application setup. 2. Keep or change values. 3. Recommended value. How to navigate the PSTX HMI. Press the top left button for options, back, and exit. Press the top right button for the menu, select and save. Use the middle buttons when you need to navigate. Application setup. Go to the assistance menu by pushing the menu button. Navigate to assistance, then push select. Go to application setup and then push select to enter the menu. Select the application you would like to use. In this video, we are looking into a centrifugal pump. Navigate to the centrifugal pump and push select. To change the values push select. Let's have a look on the different functions and how they affect the motor. Start ramp time. Sets the voltage ramp time for the soft starter to reach full voltage. A low or high value will affect the acceleration time. With a higher value, the acceleration time will be longer, and the opposite if you enter a low number. To change a value, push edit. We can set the start ramp time between 1 to 120 seconds. Use the navigation buttons to change the value. Push save. Stop ramp time. Sets the stop ramp time for the soft starter to stop. A low or high value will affect the stop time. With a higher value, the stop time will be longer, and the opposite if you enter a low number. To change a value, push edit. We can set the stop ramp time between 1 to 120 seconds. Use the navigation buttons to change the value. Push save. Start ramp, initial level. Set the initial voltage to a level that makes the motor rotate immediately after the start signal is applied. If the initial voltage is too low, the engine will stall initially and generate excessive heat. If the level is too high, then the motor will start with a jerk. To change a value, push edit. We can set the initial voltage between 10 to 99%. Use the navigation buttons to change the value. Push save. Stop ramp end level. Set the stop level of voltage to the same level as the initial voltage to get in close approximate level. The stop level voltage can vary from application to application, but it is a good rule of thumb. To change a value, push edit. We can set the stop level voltage between 10 to 99%. Use the navigation buttons to change the value. Push save. Current limit level. The current limit controls the amount of current the motor will use. It also has a massive impact on the acceleration time of the application. A low value will create a longer starting time. And a high number will decrease the starting time. But if the current limit is set too low, then the motor will not be able to reach the top of ramp, and the result will be that the motor will not start or to get the application up to full speed. To change a value, push edit. We can set the current limit between 1.5 to 7.5 times IE. Use the navigation buttons to change the value. Push save. Start mode. PSTX has three different start modes. To change setting, push edit. The voltage ramp will ramp up the voltage linear, the most common ramp for soft starters. The torque ramp will alter the voltage input so that the motor ramps the torque linearly. This ramp will start the motor more gently. The full voltage start is the most powerful, giving the most torque for your motor and the closest to a direct start but without current spikes. Use the navigation buttons to change the value. Push save. Stop mode. To change setting, push edit. PSTX has four stop modes. The most common one is the no ramp mode, where the application cost to stop. The voltage ramp will ramp down the voltage linear and work well for an application like conveyor belts. The torque ramp alters the voltage input, so the motor torque goes down linearly. This mode is vital for the water industry, particularly for pump applications. PSTX has a unique torque algorithm that goes through a feedback loop, creating an optimized stop for pump applications. The dynamic brake mode will stop the motor quicker than a regular stop, and this mode is suitable for applications with big moment of inertia and an extended stop time such as a sawmill, where the saw blade can spin for a very long time. Use the navigation buttons to change setting. Push save. Change to recommended values. Replace all settings with recommended settings for the centrifugal pump. Push yes to save the recommended settings. 
Note that your saved parameter values are lost if you select change to recommended values. The application setup is now complete. Return to home screen with the top left button. For more information, please read the PSTX installation and commissioning manual.